Oh, I know you killed Connie. I know you killed Lillian Stokes as well. Do you think I would be so stupid as to make tapes of her, Jack? Should I take them off? Yeah, go on. <laughs> you look beautiful, Lillian. You're not really filming this. Oh, no, of course I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop oh, now. I'm filming. for lunch. I'm trying out a couple of um, recipes for Will and Jenny's wedding. I said I'd help out with the reception. I haven't been a very supportive sister, have I? Truth is, I've been a bit, well, a little screwed up would be an understatement. I needed you. Well, I'm right here. A bit late, maybe, but my timing was never that great. It was your decision. It had nothing to do with me. I'm just here to let you know I think you did the right thing. I did. I couldn't get through with it. I've decided to have the baby. Have you told Jack? Oh, well, how do I do that? <laughs> how exactly do you tell your husband that you're carrying your brother-in-law's child? Any suggestions? Jack. Go. Oh. <sighs> Hello, Kevin. Oh, no. Goodbye, Kevin. <laughs> Jack. Yeah, you're running married women to shag in London already, Look, have you? What happened between me and Kay was yeah, it was just... stupid, insane. It was disgusting. I'm not here because of her. Oh, of course not. No, I'm here because of you. Someone you should know. Someone I should have told you months ago. You got two minutes. I'm not in here. Let's go outside. Come on. The Admiralty were looking for a shipyard to build an aircraft carrier. They wanted Palmer and Ascot, Victor's yard. So? It's my job to make sure Victor never got to hear about it. Oh, because if he did, there's no way he would have sunk the yard to Hastings. Not that the pittance Hastings was offering anyway. First I told them where to stick it. I refused. I mean, our dads nearly killed themselves for that place, for Christ's sake. If you don't believe me, ask Helen. Helen. 
Why now, Kevin? I mean, why are you telling me now? Because we were good mates once. Watch your back, Jack. Morning, Maggie. Mum's right, you are good. Thank you. It's getting boring now. Taking photos of inanimate objects. You prefer something with a bit more life in it? You have something in mind? Someone, maybe. Won't you be late for school? What's wrong? Worried what the neighbours might say. Thought you liked taking risks. What gave you that idea? Well, you're in your dark room with an underage girl. We're not breaking any laws. Yet. What is it about me that turns you on anyway? <laughs> You're really something, you know that? Is that good? I haven't made my mind up yet. Really, I'm interested. Some opportunities are too good to turn down. I mean the opportunity to get back at my dad for shagging your wife? That's what we're doing here, isn't it? Hey, do I look bothered? I'm not the only one who's screwed, you know. Say a girl's first time should be special. We should go down. Bye, Maggie. Bye. What's she doing here? Oh, she wanted some advice on photography for some project or other at school. No home, right? Thought you'd finish a date. I've been shopping. She's just a kid, Doug. Just like you were. Leave her alone. Oh, OK. Um, I'll make a deal with you. I'll leave the young Miss Chambers alone if you tell me where you were last night. I had a night shift. Rang work. They told me you had the night off. You really must learn to cover your tracks a bit better than that if you want to lie to me. Where were you? What are we going to do about you? Speaking. There's some files missing from my computer. Really? Like what? Like the Nordic bid for the Parmanascot shipyard. Well, 
was dead and buried a long time ago. Hi, Joe. Just checking something. Touch you anything? <laughs> no. Just make it worse. It's just what he wants you to do, please. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> I just want him dead. I just want him dead. No. No. Look, we prove he killed Janet. We prove he killed Lillian Stowe. We can't prove anything. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Shh. We're going to find a way. <laughs> Shh, listen to me. We'll find a way. you, Jack. Hey, I like the banner. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Frankly, I think the mobile phone's a little bit over the top, but, uh, hey, what did you do? Break into Lillian's house and steal it? Break in an entry, assault, and theft? Woo-wee! We're really going for it, aren't we, uh, Jack? Huh? <laughs> oh, no matter how much you can hassle me, Jack, huh? you'll never win. Never. Do you hear me? Anthony, Ryan. Doug, look, I'm sorry. We're going to have to take a look around your house. Sure. Have a look in the kitchen. You search the lounge. We had a phone call. Who was it? Oh, come on, Anthony, you can tell me. <laughs> Who made the call? You know as well as I do I can't divulge that kind of information, Doug. Bet it was Jack Chambers. <laughs> He's a real sicko, you know that. If anyone's house needs searching, it is. Sir, found this upstairs. Connie Heston's purse. So you're not going to arrest me, then? For what? Unless there's something you want to get off your chest, Doug. Oh, God, you had me going there for a sec. <laughs> I'll tell you something, you get a whole new perspective of things sitting on this side of the desk. I'll bet. <laughs> so, what's a murdered woman's purse doing in your house? Well, uh, well, we had a dinner party, uh, just a few friends. Chuck Chambers there? No, no, he wasn't. Sorry. Well, it was the night before Connie died. She phoned up next day saying she might have left a purse. Tell you the truth, I was in a bit of a hurry. Said I'd look for it, but uh, obviously didn't look hard enough. <laughs> we found it in your bedroom. Mm-hmm. Well, she and Andrea. How is she? She's fine. I haven't seen her in ages. When was it? 
Christmas party? That's right, yeah. Well, she and Andrea went upstairs to try on some dresses for a friend's wedding. Must have mislaid it there. Well, you know what women are like. <laughs> Sounds perfectly plausible. Mm. As you say, you know what women are like. I'm assuming your wife can confirm all this. Of course. Is she available today? Where is it she works again? Royal Free, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And she's having a few days off. Right. Right, Vince. How you doing, you all right? Ah, not bad. Buzz me out. Yeah, no problem. Ta. Hiya, big guy! What are you doing? Hmm? Mum made me wear a tie. Oh. Dan, why don't you go and see what the other kids are doing? Go on! Quickly! Hi. Hi. Can you hold that, please? Mm -hmm. I knew you'd forget. something you want to tell me, Ken? I'm pregnant, Jack. And no, it's not yours. I think we'll best go in.
cases of nipstick. Female hair on his jumper. It is his jumper, isn't it? Unmade bed. You're still sleeping on the same side. Some things never change. It's over. All evidence of cohabitation. Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, what did you say? I said it's over. You know I can't accept that. Doug, we can't go on... Don't say that! Don't you ever say that! Now, you made me what I am. Who I am. A part of you is in me. Just like a part of me will always, always be in you. Well, it's wonderful, really, when you think of it. Hmm? Millions, billions of people all over the world and somehow two people manage to find each other. Hmm? Perfect couple. Nothing like you. Look, we don't have time to discuss this. As it is, we're running late and we've got so much to do. Come on. Who? Oh. What, do you want to stay here, is that it? Huh? Well, you can stay here. You can spend the rest of your life with him. However long that'll be. You see, I haven't quite decided yet. A day, a week. Well, it could be generous. Give you a month. How about a year? How does that sound, huh? That long enough for you? Because wherever you go, I'll be there. Waiting. Watching. And you'll always be wondering, is this the day? We belong together. I can't live without you. And I'm afraid you don't get to live without me.
Sorry. Hello. Hello? Hello, Dad? Dad, you've got to go... <laughs> Maggie! I'm afraid not, Jack. You don't need me to tell you how delicate this situation is. Where's Maggie, Doug? Time we had a little chat, don't you think, Jack? It's got nothing to do with her. You want me to stop saying I'm fine? You win. I think you're fibbing, Jack. How does this sound? I rate father stabbed by daughter who then commits suicide herself. Do you think the police would buy that? Huh? Of course, we wouldn't be having this conversation if you just followed the rules. Poor Connie Heston would still be alive. Oh, that's a shame about her. I liked her. I really did. Do you want to know what happened to Lillian Stokes, Jack? No. Oh, come on, don't be such a killjoy. Just let Maggie go, Doug. Oh, Jack, you've come this far. Not a few minutes isn't going to kill you. Doug. You think you love her, Jack? You don't know what it is to love someone. To give yourself to that person. Completely. Utterly. To do anything for her. No matter how wrong or how disgusted it makes you feel. Because you know that without her, you just don't exist. Let me tell you about Lillian Stokes, Jack. Better still, why don't I show you, huh? Hmm? I swear to God, you harm her, Doug. Thought you wanted to know, Jack. I said leave her. How badly do you want to know, Jack? Leave her alone, Doug. <laughs> you know what happened? How we held her down, how she screamed, pleaded to be let go, huh? Wow. Does that do it for you, Jack? Huh? Does that do it for you? This what turns you on? Getting you hard, Jack, is it? Huh? You a hard man now, Jack. Maggie, call the police. 
Andrea, give me the knife. Let the police sort this out. No. I'll get off with it. I knew he will. Andrea. As long as he's alive, this will, this will never end. Andrea, it's over. We got him. Hey, give me the knife. Stab me. <sighs> Go on. Kill your husband. Don't listen to him. You can't do it, can you? Hey, give me the knife. You can't do it because you still love me. Andrea, don't do this. We're the same. <sighs> hey, we got him. You don't have to do this. Uh, me and you. Perfect couple. Andrea, it's over. It's over. What have you done? We had him! John, John, I had to. He'd always have been there. He'd never have stopped. John, we can be together now. John, please. John, please don't leave me. John. Please, God! They identified the body as Lillian Stokes. Well, you probably already know that. You would have placed her in the foundations while your house was still being built. This is all assumption, of course. After all, the man is dead. So we'll never really know, will we? Which brings me on to my next point. How exactly did Mr. Patton die? She stabbed him. There was only one weapon, and that was in Andrea Patton's possession. You were there. You saw what happened. Did it look like self-defense to you? She stabbed him. In your opinion, did she have any other choice? I can't say. You better take your daughter home. You're not going to question Maggie? There's plenty of time. Tomorrow we'll be fine. Sleep. Yeah. <sighs> Things are going to be very different now, aren't they? Only if we want them to be. Lauren's offered for me and the kids to move in with them, you know, just until we sell the house and can afford a place of our own. Are you going to? I'm thinking about it. It sounds to me like you made up your mind, Kay. What about the baby? Sam's the father. He has rights too. That's what you want? It is. What about you? Oh. Now I'll think of something. God. 
We've really made a mess of things, haven't we? I don't know. I can think of two things we got right. You're a good man, Jack. You know, sometimes doing the right thing isn't always the right thing to do. Dog, I mean, Mr. Patton, he had a knife. He held it to my throat. He said he was going to kill me. If, if my father didn't stop seeing his wife. And then there was a fight between my dad and, and Mr. Patton. And Mr. Patton dropped the knife. And uh, Mrs. Patton came and picked it up. Then what happened? And she stabbed him. In your opinion, did Mrs. Patton stab her husband deliberately? I mean, he was angry and I was... I was scared. I was really scared. Maggie, I know this is difficult, but we have to know what happened that day. Did Mrs. Patton stab her husband deliberately? No. In your opinion, what happened? She didn't have any other choice. It was self-defense. You're late. Traffic. I thought you'd stood me up. It crossed my mind. I'm offered a job. Oh. In London. Better pay, better chance of promotion, better prospects, you know. That sounds too good to turn down. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. When would you go? Well, I wouldn't start for another week, but I'd have to find a place to live straight away, really. It's probably best. There's too many bad memories around here. <laughs> Jack, look, they're not all... Well, good luck. Yeah. Same to you. Today is an historic day for Palmer and Ascot, for all of us. Some decisions are hard to make. 
we constantly question our motives. Are we doing the right thing? Well, today I believe we are. You've made the right decision, Victor. Congratulations. What do we do exactly? We buy up companies, we break them up, and then we sell them off. For what? So we can put our kids through some fancy school. Jack. We spent the last six months telling Victor here that this is the only way out, that to sell his company to us is the only thing to do. But if he does, then that's it, isn't it? Another chapter in this city's history just sails right down the river, or not as the case may be. Well, I don't know about you, but I think that's a real shame. Nordic are looking for a yard to build a state-of-the-art aircraft carrier. There's no guarantee you'll get it, Victor. But you have the experience, the history, and the manpower. So I think you're in with a pretty good show, don't you? You're through, you hear me? That's it, finished! I'll make sure you never work in this city again! You hear me? Jack! You want at your office? I don't work there anymore. What are you going to do now? Get another job, I suppose. I don't mean that. You know what I mean. I don't know, are we saying hello here or goodbye? Come in. What's this? Contents of Doug Patton's locker. Some silly sod forgot to clear it out. What do you want to do with it? Leave it there. I'll sort it out later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's a little bit too tired. 
What have you done? 